Welcome friends, uh, I am Dr. Kalidas Rajendran. Uh, today's uh, posting is all about uh, uh, preparation of a graph. Uh, for example, uh, previous uh, uh, video we have posted all about uh, uh, how to uh, make IC50 value uh, or calculate IC50 value for DPPH radical scavenging activity of uh, uh, any extract. But uh, uh, today's posting is uh, how to uh, prepare uh, graphical representation. Uh, for percentage of inhibition uh, this is what today's posting um, thank you so much please subscribe and uh, any queries please uh, leave your uh, uh, clarifications or any doubts in a uh, comment box uh, let us just proceed to the uh, excel sheet thank you so much uh, friends you see here these are the values of uh, P means plant extract, these are the values of uh, AA means ascorbic acid, uh, these are the concentrations 20, 40, 60, 80. Uh, uh, so all these values you select here and copy and here you paste, hmm? we have pasted uh, 20, 40, 60, these are the values of uh, concentrations sir. Hmm? and these are 20 uh, microliter, 40 microliter, 60 microliter. Uh, 18.84 inhibition 32.7 uh, inhibition uh, 58.93 inhibition uh, similar to that here ascorbic acid percentage of inhibition okay this percentage of inhibition where uh, you you find these are the values of uh, percentage of inhibition so those values you please uh, bring it and paste it uh, here then uh, you select all this okay you select uh, 20, 40, 60, 80 percentage of inhibition and uh, you select plant extract also. Okay. Then once you select, you bring it to insert, then graph, you select the graph. Okay. Appropriate graph you select. Hmm. So you get a graph like this. So this is a blue color. This is plant extract, and this is ascorbic acid. So here you can write, uh, select the title, and you can write DPPH activity. DPPH assay. 